Annyeonghaseyo mga sayo, mga chinggu. Welcome po sa Wikang Korea. Ako po si Japex at gusto ko lang akong mag-share ng aking natutunan tungkol sa Korean language. Lesson 22 The or digot irregular verbs Atin muna pong simulan sa mga vocabulary words. Pada Ocean Sunjang Swimming pool Il Work Irum Ning Tehagyo College Umak Music Suri Sound Email Email Ta Everything All Aka Just now or just a moment ago or yung kanina Kimun Question Tedap Reply Umma My mother or yung tawag mo sa yung ina ganon or mom Appa My father yung tawag mo sa yung ama or dad Then ito naman po ang halimbawa ng mga verb So ito yung da form at ito naman po ang basic form Then ito yung type niya So suyong hada Basic form is suyong he To swim To ay Hada verb Ikta Basic form is Ego To read To ay regular verb Sijak hada Basic form is Sijak he To start Or to begin Hada verb Then Mutta Basic form is Moro To ask Ito ay digut Irregular verb Tutta Basic form is Turo To listen or hear Digut Irregular verb Kotta Basic form is Koro To walk Digut Irregular verb Tetapada Basic form is Tetape To answer or reply Hada verb Pluda Basic form is Pero To learn Regular verb Kimun hada Basic form is Kimune To ask a question Hada verb So, iisa-isahin po natin ito At kagamitin natin sa pangusap Simulan po natin sa Suyong hada Basic form is Suyong he To swim So kaya naging Suyong he yung basic form niya Sa suyong hada Tinanggal ang da Then itong ha ginawang he Kaya basic form is suyong he So event location marker na eso Ang ating gagamitin Kung saan tayo magsuswim So example sentences Ojon Yoshie Suyong Jang Heso Suyong Heso Yo Ojon Yoshie Suyong Jang Heso Suyong Heso Yo I swam at the pool at 10am So Ojon Yoshie 10am So itong Ojon nilalagay Kung sasabihin mo ang oras kung AM 
then yung PM is OHU. So, OJON is AM, then yung SHI is 10 o'clock. Then, time marker na E. At, OJON yung SHI at 10 AM. Then, swimming jang. Pool or swimming pool. So, event location marker na ESO. Kasi dito tayo mag so swim Then, suyung hesoyo. Past tense. Swam. So, itong basic form na suyung he. Nilagyan ng sang siyut. Then, o. Oh. Kaya naging past tense. Suyung heso. Or suyung hesoyo. Swam. O John Yolshie, suyong Jang Heso, suyong Hesoyo. I swam at the pool at 10 a.m. Tam Chue, kachokirang pada eso, suyong hal kuyayo. Tam Chue, kachokirang pada eso, suyong hal kuyayo. Next week, I will swim in the ocean with my family. So, town. Next. So, chu. Week. Town chu. Next week. Time marker na eh. Town chu eh. Then, kajok. Is family. Then, irang. Ito yung end marker or with. So, kajok irang. With my family. Then, pada. Ocean. So, dito tayo mag swim Kaya nilagyan ng event location marker na ESO. Pada ESO. In the ocean. Then, suyong hal kuyayo. Future tense. So, suyong ha da. Tinanggal lang da. Natira yung stem na suyong ha. Magkaiba itong stem sa basic form ha. So, pagka future tense, yung verb stem ang gagamitin. So, itong suyong ha, nilagyan ng real, then koyayo. Kaya naging future tense. Suyong hal koyayo. Will swim. So, tom chue, kajokiran, padeso, suyong hal koyayo. Next week, I will swim in the ocean with my family. So, ikta. Basic form is ilgo. To read. So, ikta, tinanggal lang da, natira yung stem na, ik. Then, dito, last vowel is i, may pachim or final consonant, kaya nilagyan ng o. Ilgo. So, yun ang basic form niya. So, yung item na ating babasahin or binabasa or binasa, object marker na ul or rule ang ating gagamitin. So, pag nagtatapos sa vowel or walang pachim or final consonant, rule ang gagamitin. Then, kapag naman may pachim or final consonant, object marker na ul. So, example sentences. Chonin, Chekhago, Chabchirul, Mami, Ilgoyo. Chonin, Chekhago, Chabchirul, Mani, Ilgoyo. I read a lot of books and magazines. So, Cho is I. Topic marker na nun. Cho nun. I. Then, Chek is books or book. Then, Hago. Ito I, end marker. So, Hago is end. Then, Chapchi, magazines or magazine, object marker na rule, check hago, chapji rule, books and magazines, or check hago, chapji, then money, alat, or marami, then ilgoyo, read. So, chonun, check hago, Chapjirul Mani Ilgoyo. I read a lot of books and magazines. Onul to Saguanaso, Chingu Hago, Achi Sosurul Ilgul Koyo. 
Anun to Saguana so, Kingu Hago, Aki Sosurun Ilgun Koyo. Today I will read a novel at the library together with my friend. So magbaba sa daw siya ngayon ng novela sa library kasama ang kanyang kaibigan. So Onil is today then to Sogwan Library Event Location Marker na ESO to Sogwan ESO at the library then Kingu is friend and marker na hago or with Kingu hago with my friend then Kachi together then Sosul novel object marker na ul Sosorul then Ilgul Kuyayo will read so future tense sa ikda tinagalang da natalit ng stem then nilagyan ng ulkuyeyo ulkuyeyo dahil may pachim or final consonant hindi ito object marker ha ito ay ginagamit kapag ang verb ay mayroong pachim or final consonant para maging future tense ulkuyeyo ilgul kuyeyo will read Anul to Saguanaso, Chingu Hago, Kachi Sosurul Ilgul Koyeyo. Today I will read a novel at the library together with my friend. Manachigul Ikki Anayo. Manachigul Ikki Anayo. I don't read comic books. So Manachek is comic books. Object marker na ul, manhachigil. Then, ikki anayo. Don't read. So, ikda, tinanggalang da, plus g anta. Ikki anta. Do not read. Then, last vowel is a, may pachem or final consonant, kaya nila dyan ang a. Ikki ana, or ikki anayo. Don't read. Manachigul ikki anayo. I don't read comic books. So, dito naman tayo sa Sijak Hada. Basic form is Sijakhe to start. So, tinanggal lang da. Then, itong ha, ginawang he. Kaya yung basic form niya is Sijakhe. So, nalagyan natin ng time marker na e. Kung anong oras tayo nag-start or mag-i-start. So, example sentences. Hagchuga achim ahubshie shijak heyo. Hagchuga achim ahubshie shijak heyo. School starts at 9 in the morning. So, hagkyo is school. Then, Subject marker na ga, hagkyuga. Then, achim is morning, ahubshi, 9 o'clock. Then, time marker na eh, achim ahubshi eh, at 9 in the morning. Then, shijak heyo, is starts. So, hagkyuga, achim ahubshi eh, shijak heyo. School starts at 9 in the morning. So, magsisimula yung school sa alas 9 ng umaga. Irun mutsye shijak hal kuyayo. Irun mutsye shijak hal kuyayo. What time does your work start? Anong oras magsisimula ang iyong trabaho? So, il is work. Topic marker na un, irun. Then, wishi. What time? Time marker na eh, wishi. Then, shijak hal kuyayo. So, itong shijak ha, dati lang galang da. Then, itong stem na shijak ha, 
nilagyan ng real then koyayo. Kaya naging future tense. Shijak hal koyayo. Will start or start. So, irun mishye, shijak hal koyayo. What time does your work start? Hagkyuga chunyok ne shiye, shijak heyo. Hagkyuga chunyok ne shiye, shijak heyo. School starts at 4 in the evening. So, hagkyo is school, subject marker naga, hagkyuga, then chunyok, evening. Then, ne shi, 4 o'clock, time marker na e, chunyok ne shiye. At 4 in the evening. Then, Shijak Heyo. Starts. Hakyuga Chonyok Neshie Shijak Heyo. School starts at 4 in the evening. So, magsisimula raw yung school sa alas 4 ng gabi. Yung Haga Dasut Shibane Shijak Heseyo. Yung Haga Dasut Shibane Shijak Heseyo. The movie started at 5.30. So, Yongha is movie. Subject marker naga, Yongha ga. Then, Dasut Shi Ban. 5.30. So, Ban is half. Or, Emeja. Dasut Shi Ban. 5.30. Time marker na E. Dasut Shi Ban E. At 5.30. Then, Shijak Hesoyo. Past tense. Itong basic po na shijake, nilagyan ng sangsiyut, then o. Shijak heso, or shijak heso yo. Started. So, yung haga, dasut shibane, shijak heso yo. The movie started at 5.30. So, nagsumula daw yung movie ng alas 5 o medya. Then, dito naman po tayo sa digot irregular verbs. Itong mutta to ask, tutta to listen or hear. So, ang basic form ng mutta is moro. Tinanggal lang da, then itong digot, ginawang riyul. Last vowel is u, kaya nilagyan ng o. Kaya ang naging basic form ng muta is moro. Ask. Then, tuta, tinanggal lang da. Then, itong digot, ginawang riyul. Last vowel is u. Kaya nilagyan ng o. Basic form ng tuta is duro. Listen or hear. So, ito ang halimbawa ng mga pangusap. Uri sum sum nini che ka jogete he moro sayo. Uri sum sum nini che ka jogete he moro sayo. Our teacher ask about my family. Tinanong ng teacher ang tungkol sa aking pamilya. So, Uri is R, then Song Seng Ning is teacher, subject marker na E. Uri Song Seng Ning, R teacher, or Uri Song Seng Ning, then Che is my kajok, family. Che kajok, my family. Then Etehe, about. Che kajok Etehe. About my family. Then, morosoyo. Past tense. Ask. Itong basic form na moro, nilagyan ng sangsiyut, then o. Kaya naging past tense. Moroso or morosoyo. Ask. Uri song sing nimi, che ka jogete he, morosoyo. Our teacher asked about my family. Mail 
pangane so umagul droyo. Meil pangane so umagul droyo. I listen to music every day in my room. Nakikinig ako ng music araw-araw sa loob ng kwarto. Sa loob ng aking kwarto. So, meil is every day, then pang is room. Then itong an is inside. Then itong eso is event location marker. So, ito nga palang eso ang nilalagay kung bakit hindi e. Eso kasi may nangyayari or may action or yung may ginagawa ka. May ginawa ka. So, pang an eso. Inside my room or in my room. Then, umak is music. Object marker na ul. Umagul. Then, droyo. Listen. Nail, bang aneso. Umagul, droyo. I listen to music every day in my room. So, beso. Song sing ni mege. Burul, kuweyo. So, beso. Song sing ni mege. Burul, kuweyo. I will listen to the teacher in class. So, suok is class. Then, event location marker na eso. So, beso. In class. Song sing ni. Teacher. Then, dahil sa teacher ka nakikinig, kaya ege ang iyong inilagay. Ang meaning rin ng ege at saka hante is to or from kapag sa tao so song sing ni mege to the teacher then burul kuweyo future tense so yung tuta tinanggalang da then itong digot ginawang riyul kaya naging tul plus ul kuweyo para maging future tense burul kuweyo Will listen. So, beso, something ni mege, durul kuweyo. I will listen to the teacher in class. Something ni mante, sok jay tehe, morobaso yo. Something ni mante, sok jay tehe, morobaso yo. I ask the teacher about the homework. So, song sing name is teacher. Then, hante. Song sing name hante to the teacher. Or, you ask the teacher. So, siya ang pinagtanungan mo. Kaya, hante ang ginamit. To the teacher. Or, you ask the teacher. Song sing name hante. Then, sokke. Homework. Etehe about. Sokyetehe about the homework Then morobaso yo So itong Morobuda Ito ask Tinanggal lang da Natarang yung stem na Morobo Last vowel is O Kaya nalagyan ng A Moroba Then, kaya naman naging past tense, itong moroba, yung basic form na moroba, nilagyan ng sangsiyot, then o. Morobaso, or morobaso yo. Ask. So, itong morobuda, meaning din niya is to ask. Ito ang madalas na sabihin sa Korean. Bihirang sabihin itong muta. To ask. Ito ang madalas sabihin ng mga koreano. Then, meron pang isa yung chilmonada. Magbibigay din ako mamaya ng example sentences tungkol sa chilmonada at murubuda. Song sing ng hante. Sok jetehe murubasuyo. I ask the teacher about the homework. Nagtanong ako sa teacher tungkol sa homework. Aka kun suriril drosoyo. Aka kun suriril drosoyo. 
Just now I heard a big sound. So aka just now then kun is big then sorry sound so kun sorry big sound or loud object marker the rule kun sorry rule a big sound then brosoyo past tense itong basic form na duro nilagyan ng sang siyot then oh duroso or durosoyo heard aka kun sorry rule durosoyo just now I heard a big sound Then another jigot irregular verb itong kota basic form is kuro to walk. So tinanggal lang da then itong jigot ginawang riyul. Last vowel is o kaya nilagyan ng o. Kuro. Kaya lang yung basic form ng kota is kuro. So, ito yung example sentences. Chincha kurosoyo. Chincha kurosoyo. Did you really walk? Lumakad ka ba talaga? So, chincha is really then kurosoyo. Past tense. Itong basic term na kuro, nilagyan ng sang siyot then o. Koroso or Korosoyo. Did walk. Past tense. Chincha korosoyo. Did you really walk? Chingu hago kurul koyayo. Chingu hago kurul koyayo. I will walk with a friend. Maglalakad ako kasama ang ibigan. So, chingu is friend then hago. With. Chingu hago, with a friend, then kurul koyayo, future tense. So, sa kota, tinagalang da, natira yung kot. So, katulad kanina, bago gawin yung future tense, itong digot, gagawin muna natin riyul. Then, add ul koyayo. Ul koyayo, kasi, nagtapos sa Final consonant or mayroong pachim. Kurul koyayo. Will walk. Chingu hago kurul koyayo. I will walk with a friend. So, pagpatuloy pa natin yung iba pang verb. Dito sa teta pada, basic form is teta pe to answer. So, tinanggal lang da, ganitong ha, ginawang he. Teta pe. So, yung mga bagay na ating sinasagot, marker na E ang ating gagamitin. Hindi ito galagamit sa pagsagot sa telepono. Itong tetap hada. So, example sentences. Chunoshi ga Samsung ni me Chilmu ne Tetap haji anasoyo Chunoshi ga Samsung ni me Kilmule, tetap haji, anasoyo. Chuno didn't answer the teacher's question. Hindi sanagot ni Juno ang tanong ng teacher. So, Chuno she is Juno. Ito ay Korean name, subject marker na ga, Juno she ga. Then, sang sing name, teacher. Then, eh, ito ay apostrophe s. Then, Chilmun, question. So, sing me, Chilmun. Teacher's question. Then, nilagyan natin ng E. Kasi, sa teacher na tanong natin, sasagutin. Kung baga, dito nang galing yung tanong. So, so sing me, Chilmun. Then, Teta Paji Ano sa'yo? Didn't answer. So, teta pa da, tinanggalang da, natira yung stem na teta pa, 
plus j anta theta pa j anta to not answer then tatanggalin mo yung tatananda last vowel is a may pachim or final consonant kaya nilagyan ng a theta pa j ana so itong theta pa j ana nilagyan naman ng sangsiyot then o kaya naging past tense theta pa j ana so or theta pa j ana so yo didn't answer Chunoshiga, so sing ni me, chilmune, teta paji anasuyo. Chuno didn't answer the teacher's question. Tamchukaji, teta pal koyayo. Tamchukaji, teta pal koyayo. I will answer by next week. Tamchu, next week. Then kaji. Ito yung kung kailan o yung hangganan. So, tamcho kaji by next week. Then, tetap hal koyayo. We'll answer future tense. Itong stem na tetap ha, nilagyan ng real then koyayo. Kaya naging future tense. Tetap hal koyayo. We'll answer. Taong Chukaji, Teta Pal Koyayo. I will answer by next week. Then, Piyuda, basic form is Pero, to learn. So, sa Piyuda, tinanggal lang da, last vowel is U, kaya nilagyan ng O. Pero, yun ang basic form niya. So, yung mga bagay na inaaral, object marker na UL or RUL ang gagamitin. Then, yung mga bagay naman, kung tungkol saan ang iyong inaaral, etehe, ang ilalagay na ang meaning ay about. So, example sentences. Hanggagurul, pewoyo. Hanggugurul Pewoyo I'm learning Korean Nag-aaral ako ng Korean or ng Korean language Hanggugo is Korean or Korean language Object marker na rule Hanggugurul Pewoyo Learn or learning Hanggugurul Pewoyo I'm learning Korean. Nenyune, hanggurul, piyul kuyayo. Nenyune, hanggurul, piyul kuyayo. I will learn hanggul next year. Mag-aaral ako ng hanggul sa isang taon. Nenyon, next year. Time marker na E. Nangyan eh. Hanggul is hanggul. Public marker na UL. Hanggurul. Then, Pihul Koyayo. Future tense. Sa Pihuda, tinanggalan da. Then, yung stem or yung verb stem na Pio. Nilagyan ng real, then Koyayo. Real kasi Walang fachim or final consonant itong pu Vowel yung last niya. Kaya real den koyayo para maging future tense. Pihul koyayo. Will learn. Nenyune, hanggurul, pihul koyayo. I will learn hanggul next year. Tehakiweso, ilbunetehe. Pero sa'yo. Tehagkiweso, ilbunetehe, pero sa'yo. I learn about Japan in college. So, tehagkyo, college. Event location marker na eso. Tehagkiweso, in college.
Ilbun, Japan. Then, Etehe, about. Ilbunetehe, about Japan. Or, tungkol sa Japan. Then, Perosoyo, learn. Past tense. Itong basic form na pero, nilagyan ng sangsiyot then o. Kaya naging past tense. Peroso or perosoyo. Learn. Tehag kyo eso, el bunetehe, perosoyo. I learned about Japan in college. Nag-aral ako tungkol sa Japan sa college. Then, chilmun hada, basic form is chilmune, to ask a question. So, sa chilmun hada, tinanggal ang da, then itong ha, ginawang he. Kaya ang basic form ng chilmun hada is chilmune. So, buko dito sa chilmun hada, tulad ng sinabi ko kanina, yung murubuda, ang meaning din niya is to ask. Itong murubuda, ang kalimit ang ginagamit ng mga Korean sa pagtatanong. So, narito ang halimbawa ng mga pangusap, kung paano mo sabihin ang Chilmunhada or Murubada. So, Chilmunhal Koyayo. Chilmunhal Koyayo. I will ask a question. So, sa Chilmunhada, tinanggal lang da, then yung stem na Chilmunha, nilagyan ng real, then Koyayo. Kaya naging future tense. Chilmunhal Koyayo. I will ask a question. Then sa Murubuda, Murubul Kuyayo, Murubul Kuyayo, I will ask. So sa Murubuda, tinanggal lang da, natira yung stem na Murubo, nilagyan ng real, then Kuyayo. Future tense, Murubul Kuyayo, I will try to ask. Or I will ask. Then kapag naman past tense, Chilmun Hesoyo. Chilmun Hesoyo. I ask a question. So, yung basic form na Chilmun eh, nilagyan ng sangsiyot then o, kaya naging past tense. Chilmun Heso or Chilmun Hesoyo. I ask a question. Morobasoyo. Morobasoyo. Yung basic form na Moroba, nilagyan mo ng sangsiyot then o, Morobaso or Morobasoyo. I ask. Then, gamitin pa natin sa pangusap itong Chilmun Hada to ask a question. Song Sing Nim Hante, Chilmun Hesoyo. Song Sing Nim Hante, Chilmun Hesoyo. I ask a question to my teacher. Song Sing Nim, teacher. Then, Hante. To or Song Sing Nim Hante, to my teacher. Chilmun Hesoyo, past tense. Ask a question. Song Sing Nim Hante, Chilmun Hesoyo. I ask a question to my teacher. So ito ang giving marker na Hante, or Ege, meaning niya is to or from. Depende sa konteksto ng pangungusap. Then another example, Apaege Chilmun Halkoyayo. Apaege Chilmun Halkoyayo. I will ask my father. So, Apa is father. Then, Ege. Tu. So, dito walang nakalagay na tu sa English. Pero, ang ibig sabihin nito, sa father mo, ibibigay yung tanong mo. Or, sa father ka magtatanong. Apaege. Then, Chilmun Hal Koyayo will ask. Apaige Chilmun Hal Koyayo. I will ask my father. So, sana po ay may natutunan kayo sa lesson natin ngayon.